I was just hanging out with my buddy JP, JP Sears, and we were talking about how when we first started out in our careers, there was this sense of every little incremental piece of progress felt so amazing because we were comparing it to zero. We were comparing no results. So every time we had a sale or somebody who liked our posts or somebody who subscribed, how it felt amazing because it was all a comparison of zero. And now today, we, we had this conversation about how both of us have grown so much in the last three years, but now there's not that juice anymore. There's not that excitement anymore from the same result where JP said, you know, when he got his first 100 subscribers, he was like, well, 1,000 is where it's at, and then 10,000, and then, oh, but Ty Lopez has a, has a million, and, and we do this all the time. You know, I'm, I'm in the best shape of my life right now, but I don't look like that guy. I don't look like that person on the, on the cover who did some sort of a water cut and is ripped for like five minutes and then has a banana and, and gets bloated and doesn't look like that anymore. And we are always playing this game, especially with social media, where all this stuff is being thrown at us about what other people do and what they've accomplished and what they look like. And because our brains are only wired to compare ourselves with the tribe, about 300 people, as a result, our brains say, that's normal, that's the standard, that's what I gotta be. So the worst thing that we can do for our happiness is compare ourselves to other people. But there is a way to use it in order to get progress. It's twofold. First, I like to look at comparison as an example of what's possible. So I have made a lot of progress in the last year or so in my life, physically, emotionally, financially, and yet there are people who have done 10 times more than me. They might have 10 years on me. They might have a, a different set of experiences than me, but I can use that as example of what's possible. I can compare myself and see, oh, I can have a, a million subscribers or I can have a million dollars a month income. We can use that empowering, that empowering comparison just to show it's what's possible. But the minute that you're attached to it, like you're comparing your own self-worth to what somebody else has done, that's when you've lost. Here's how you can flip the game and how you win. The only person you're in competition with is the person in the mirror. And the longer time frame through which you can use that comparison, the more successful you will be and feel. So if we look at your life three years ago, what is your body like compared to three years ago, five years ago? What is your net worth like compared to five years ago, 10 years ago? The longer time frame horizon we can use our own personal comparisons with the person in the mirror, the more empowered we will be and feel. And if we operate through that lens, it means that we can actually set the habits and the strategies that will long term get us to those crazy results that everybody else is comparing themselves to. That's how we get extraordinary results. We compare ourselves to where we came from and then say, okay, where do I wanna be over the next three years, five years, 10 years? And I can use all of these other people that I find myself egoically uh, 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 comparing myself to, who have done these crazy things, use them as the model, as what's possible. So I'll set my goals through that. The minute that we're attached to them though, and our self-worth is hindered by the fact that we've made some sort of a comparison through what somebody else has done, we've lost. And I know that I used to do this where I would say, oh, that person is how old and they've accomplished so much, so I've gotta catch up to them in two years in order to feel good about myself. That person's two years older than me and they've got a million dollars more than me, so I've got to make a million dollars over the next two years so I can feel good about myself. What a, what a delusional world our brains play on us because it's always trying to keep up. It thinks it has to reproduce, so it's gotta be better than everybody else in order to be the most attractive and the highest status. The only person you have to compare yourself to is the person in the mirror and the person that you're going to be three years from now and the person that you were three years ago. So have you made progress in the last three years? What habits can you make over the next three years to get your body, your relationships, your finances to where they want to be three years from now? And who are the people that you want to model? The people that you compare yourselves to now, look at them as the model of what's possible. So don't compare yourself to other people, but use comparison as a way to motivate yourself and set goals and strategies for where you want to go next.